Welcome to Newton's Laws of Motion. This is Lisa Knight. I'll be your instructor for this mini course. Newton's three laws of motion are the basis for many of the um, everyday experiences that you have. For example, have you ever been on a roller coaster? You went down the first hill and you felt so light and if you were brave enough, you were so light that you could even hold your hands above your head very easily. But as soon as you got to the very bottom of the hill and started going up the next, oh my gosh, it was so hard to hold your hands up. Experiences like this throughout your lifetime have enabled you to make observations about how the world works. And you've also come to some conclusions. Sometimes those conclusions or explanations of why things occur the way they do, sometimes they're misconceptions and sometimes they're not. In this course, you will work collaboratively in small groups within the online classroom to explore each of Newton's three laws of motion. And you will be able to, at the end of the course, use those, motion, those laws to correctly explain everyday scenarios like the example with the roller coaster. In order to be successful in this course, participation is a must. Participation is 40% of this course. So this video is going to detail exactly what I expect from you in the online small group discussions. Each week you will be assigned to a group and you will have um, a task or a discussion to consider and to participate in. You will need to make an initial post by the due date in the syllabus. Then, once you make that initial post, you will be required to respond to your classmates. Not all of your classmates, just your group mates in your small group discussion. That will need to be done by the end of the due date for that particular week of material. For example, in the first week, you will be studying the law of inertia. You need to make your initial post by October 4th, and you need to make your responses by October 8th, the last day of the module. Both of these dates are in your syllabus assignment due date list. Here are some rules to consider when posting in the discussion board. We want to maintain a collegiate and a professional atmosphere within this online course. So that means that you need to refrain from using any acronyms or shorthand terms that you might use when you text a friend. You also need to make sure that you're using college level punctuation, grammar, and spelling in your posts. Each post should begin with a greeting like, good morning class, hello classmates, or Tom, if you're responding to a classmate. Each post should end with, with, a, with your name so that people will know who it is that made the post. It sometimes is not clear in the title of the post. The text of your post should be constructively created paragraphs. In other words, you may or may not agree with your classmate. If you agree, don't just say, great job, Tom. That's not enough. I want you to talk about what you agree with specifically and either add to the discussion with another example or uh, if you do not agree with Tom, for example, then you would want to maintain a professional atmosphere and you know you can say I don't really agree, I thought this, but you need to give a good reason for, for what you think some kind of detailed explanation, or maybe a counterexample. 
we want to maintain a professional atmosphere in the sense that we maintain a respectful atmosphere. So please make sure that you participate in the discussions as described by the due dates in the syllabus and that we strive to maintain that collegiate and professional atmosphere.